All right, let's do a little bit of vlogging today with this camera stabilizer and this lens by Canon. Let's check it out. are still there. I don't know what they're doing. They must be fixing something super important. Been there for like eight weeks. This glide gear, that's where we're going to be uh, showing you how it works today. It works very well. It's a little difficult sometimes to balance it, but you just got to work at it. Make sure you got your uh, your little rings in the right place, your little weights here. Um, they look kind of like those um, those pogs that you used to have back in the dizzle when we were kids. -les. Come on, focus, Johnson. Focus, Johnson. There we go. So you can see there's multiple rings just kind of put in there like that. You can take a picture of me. I'm not taking pictures, man. Right here. This right. Oh god. This right here is where you attach it to your camera. So it goes screwed in right there. It's got a little uh, grippy stuff. It's right here, this little grippy thing right here. It's like a little wood corky sort of thing. You know, to make sure it doesn't get damaged. Uh, the logo, and then the weights down here, and then here's your handle. Here's the handle like this. So you can kind of move it all around, and theoretically it should stay upright like that, more or less. It looks pretty good in general, though. I like it. Probably have to get a different one, though. I don't know if it... It's just the balancing issues. It's a little difficult sometimes, but otherwise, it's not bad. All right, so I got it put on here. I got the stabilizer on here. It's not, it's not working the best, but it's not bad. It still has like a little bit of a pendulum swing, which is what you can see right now. It's kind of rocking back and forth. That means I got to get it balanced a little bit better, but for right now, it's okay. So I'm gonna point it to myself so you can kind of see how I look. Walking in, in steady cam like that, see? It's a little bit easier. However, it does swing a lot like that. Up and down. Whoop! See? Gets a little wild right there. S not completely convinced. I don't know. Maybe I can have one of the Glide Gear people explain to me something here with this. So I'm just gonna walk with this. So it's not bad right now. I think as long as you're not turning much, as long as you're not turning much, it should be okay. But the thing is, you gotta turn. How do you go up fast, It's not bad, but you can see how it just wants to turn for some reason. Like it wants to keep facing the way I'm walking, which I guess is good. But if you're trying to film yourself, you almost have to like force it to look this direction. See, I'm looking this way and it's turning all by itself. Turn it back towards me. Keep facing this way. And I'm not doing anything. It just slowly wants to go forward. I don't know if this is like some physics that we're dealing with. Okay, so now it's just facing that way. Look at me. Nope. <laughs> like I know you have to kind of have some control of this thing, but it's kind of it's kind of difficult when it doesn't want to cooperate. So far, it's pretty smooth. It's not bad. 
So, I don't know. We can do more tests indoors because it's getting kind of chilly. Sad because I don't have any gloves on today. It's facing me right now. Nope. It keeps wanting to turn which way I'm walking. I, it's got to be some kind of physics involved. I think I really shorted worn some gloves. All right, so I'm walking with it down here. This is the river walk. It is that way. So let's walk this way. So here, this place is a city winery. It's very popular in the summertime. It's very difficult to get a spot at all. I, uh, ugh. I came here one time with my friend Emily, and uh, it was so hard just to get a spot because it was just completely packed. It was a Friday evening, of course. I mean, it's the nicest time to come because it's like, you know, it's like sunset, a bunch of people with their cool boat, and w w water boats, and boater cycles, like wait in line for so long just to get a freaking glass of wine. Let me jog here. I'm gonna jog. So right now I'm running, kind of. Watch me run with this thing, so you can see how kind of fast I'm going. So it's probably bouncing up and down right now a little bit, what you can see. Should be, should be keeping pretty steady. That's what this uh, stabilizer feels like. I don't know, it could be my camera too. It's got the weight on the, like on one side, except in, instead of like right in the middle, it's kind of got it off to the side, so <sighs> the way it's got to be balanced is a little bit awkward. It does balance, but that swiveling pendulum effect doesn't help. I recommend it, at least for for your first one, just to, you know, so you get an idea of what you like, what you don't like. However, if you want to spend more money, you might get a better one. Look at these colors. These colors are just great over here. my camera but you know it doesn't cost much so if you buy one and it doesn't work it's not a huge loss but whatever I really feel like I feel like they're gonna keep these lights on these like Christmas lights or I guess winter lights all winter maybe cuz it's past Christmas and they're still here I don't know why, but I mean they look nice and everything. It's just confusing. It's like make up your mind. Are they Christmas lights? Are they winter lights? Are they Hanukkah lights? This counts as today's vlog, not tomorrow's, because it's five minutes to midnight. On my way to pick up Romy from work. She's getting out now, close to midnight. Poor girl. Poor girl. And another elevator because there's so many elevators to ride tonight. one of the best times of the day or of the I guess yeah I guess the day or the night to drive around Chicago because the streets are like empty you know you get to have a nice view of the city get to drive around you know wherever and the traffic's not bad because there's no rush hour traffic it's just freedom in a big jungle of concrete <laughs> 